Yo, what's up guys? Dizzy Collector back with another custom Star Wars action figure showcase. This time I'm going to be showing you how I turned this Obi-Wan into this Obi-Wan. So this is my Mythos inspired uh, 3.75 inch Obi-Wan Kenobi. So um, started off, as I said, this figure started off as a basic repaint. I gridded him up a little. Him a bit of a wash, dirtied him up, and um, I was thinking, man, I can do a bit more than than just what I've done with this. So I was looking through, um, flicking through some Obi Wan photos, trying to get some ideas of what I can do with him. Then I looked over at my Mythos Boba Fett statue, and I was thinking, oh shit, I know what I can do. So I looked up the Mythos Boba Fett and ran off. Um, I'll use that as the as the base of what I wanted to do with this guy and uh, this is what I have come up with now this custom here is actually a couple months old already um, I think I've had him for um, yeah prob I probably made him like four or five maybe six months ago I'm not a hundred percent sure but um, yeah, to point out the obvious differences aside from the backpack which we'll get to that later is he's far dirtier from being on Tatooine he has these uh, wraps of fabric um, on the top of his boots there, which the other uh, statue has. He's got gloves, which are just painted straight onto the hands. Um, I thought it'd be a bit too difficult to sculpt gloves on in between the fingers and stuff. So uh, that looks pretty damn good anyway, as is. Whoops. And uh, he, of course, he has the big ass fucking robe on, the coat, cloak, coat. Rope, ropes, Jedi ropes, yeah, that's what I want to say, Jedi ropes. And, um, yeah, the main focus of this whole uh, figure would be the, uh, the backpack he's got going on here. So this backpack is a, uh, splice of two different G.I. Joe backpacks. Um, the main backpack here, and then the straps, of course. I'm not 100% sure what figures each of these pieces came with but um yeah that's, that's where we're at let me uh get a better view on him there we go that's what we want and um give you a 360 close up now So yeah, two different backpacks. I have the uh, the Tuscan rifle here, which actually is removable. Which, if he doesn't want to come off the base, just slides out like that, and then back in the uh, little holder there, which is um, actually a piece of plastic which I have looped. Oops, which I have looped around the back there like that. The uh, the gaffy stick with a little bit of sculpting as a bit of a wrap around it, connected to the. Uh, backpack there and then this here is actually a piece of fabric that I have rolled up to be like a um sort of like a blanket or a uh, sleeping bag sort of thing made out of a uh, bantha fur I think is is what it is and I've got these uh, little plastic wraps that look like it's all all wrapped up and and tucked away so yeah Obi-Wan is out here in the hot Tatooine Desert's doing his thing. I don't know if I can get him. There we are. So yeah, I've really been digging this, this whole Mythos look. Um, I would love to make a Mythos Boba Fett as well, um, with a big ass rifle that he has, in a as a 3.75 inch figure. So I'm, oh, and also of course he has these these goggles as well around his neck, like the um, the statue does. So yeah, I tried my best to um, replicate the statue as I can. He does have this other little thing on the side on the statue here, like a, a moisturizer, I think it is. Uh, it um, collects the moisture or the vapor in the air, turns it into drinkable water. I'm not 100% sure. Um, I do intend to add that to this at some point. I just you know haven't got around to it just yet. But um, I did want to show you guys this. So yeah, once more, 360. I think it looks really cool on my shelf. 
Again, I'll show you the, uh, the before and after. Zoom out a bit. So yeah, you start it off as this Obi-Wan over here. And uh, yeah, he ended up as this one over here. So there you have it, guys. That is my take on the Mythos uh, Obi-Wan done as a 3.75 inch Star Wars figure. Fully articulated as well, of course, as are all my customs. So um, thanks for watching, guys. Would really appreciate a thumbs up and a comment. I love to hear what you guys always have to say about my customs. I try to get back to every single comment on every one of my videos. If I miss getting back to a comment, it is purely accidental. Um, yeah, I try to get back to everything. No matter what you have to say, I always love to hear from you guys. So thank you for watching. I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.